Hello everybody and welcome back to Killer Clowns FPV. This is Jerry. Uh, I'm actually taking you guys through a quick little guide of how to upgrade the True DV3. Now you can see I go through the Furious FPV uh, Facebook page and actually found the post for the 3.7, um, I believe it's a RC3. Now when you download the files, you actually have the firmware file, the hex, uh, also with the uh, flasher, uh, the X loader, and then the drivers that you're actually required whether it's the 64-bit or 86-bit. Um, now you go ahead and install the drivers if it is that you need them. I already have them installed, so don't need them. The next thing you'll do is plug in the module via the micro USB and ensure that it does pop up when you actually open up uh, the X loader. Um, so you'll go ahead and open up uh, X loader and then make sure you have the COM port you're gonna choose. On one, I have something else, so you just set it to, on my case, it would be COM7. Um, the baud rate would be 57600, and then you choose the second option for the actual type. Then just go ahead and choose your hex file and hit uh, upload. Uh, it might take about 15 to 20 seconds, uh, just depending on which firmware it is. Others that are a little bit less of a of a uh, memory take a little bit quicker but you'll see once it is done uh, you'll have that it's been successfully uploaded and you'll see the actual uh, module reboot now coming back to the module you'll see you have the screen which your startup screen it'll let you know it has not calibrated if you haven't when you do uh, do the first setup for uh, that firmware after you flash it now what you'll want to do is uh, you'll actually just hit OK if you get that little warning saying there's nothing connected, there's no VTX. It lets you know to power it up. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my 220 and plug a LiPo in. You'll see it'll pop up right away on that uh, spectrum and auto calibrate. So you actually don't have to go through the settings menu or anything like that. It'll say uh, OK, calibrated, done, and show your values. And then immediately start um, searching for the channels. And as you can see, a, a B2 was the one that popped up with the highest RSSI signal um for my vtx and that's it that's all you got to do you're set up on the new firmware get outside and go fly